everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my 38 week update. Can you believe I'm 38 weeks and I'm gonna keep playing with my hair because it's down, all the way down. And I'm not used to it ever being this close, or this close, this, this down, I guess. I always pull up some of it, but I just got back from the doctors and that's why I'm filming it a little bit later, so hopefully the lighting is okay, because I wanted to have all the updates and everything ready for you guys to hear about. Um, I do have pictures, and lots of things are happening and not happening at the same time. <laughs> um, so let's get started. So my cravings this week, yeah, this week, um, candy. Mm so bad it's so bad but we're getting ready for Halloween obviously so we have lots of trick-or-treaters here and I have bought in so much candy we legit have a, a pumpkin like this big and this deep filled with candy <sighs> and luckily we almost use the whole thing usually so there won't be much left for much longer but that's one of my cravings. And cereal. Just Cheerios, so I'm not getting too wild, but still. We're still wild. <laughs> um, my symptoms this week. Uh, so, like cramping, like the stuff I'm assuming that should happen, start happening. Swelling. So it has it just started cooling down, like today, here in San Diego. But um, it's been so hot, so I've been, my hands have been swelling, my feet have been swelling. By this time with Mila, I had my ring off. But now, <laughs> it's definitely here to stay and not coming off. So, that's that. My feet swelling, uh, but I'm also still very, very busy. I'm still teaching workout three days a week. Um, we go to preschool twice a week, so every other day we go to preschool. Um, mommy meet preschool and then workout, which is every other day. And then on Saturdays we do still do mommy meet dance class. So we're still go go go. <laughs> um, we're doing Sea World. We're doing all of the Halloween stuff, the pumpkin patches, the trunk or treats. We're doing them all just because I love. The holidays like this with kids it's just so much so much more fun so much more fun um, but it also makes me swell <laughs> so my feet my my hands it's just not fun but that's okay it's worth it right I always think it's gonna be like kickstart my labor one of these times when I'm doing jumping jacks at workout thinking okay this is gonna be it and it isn't one time it might be. <laughs> so we're officially on the countdown. So not this coming Monday, but the following is our C-section date, which is 11-11, Veterans Day. And next week on Tuesday, when I'm 39 weeks, Tuesday or Wednesday, one of those days, um, when I'm 39 weeks, I will have an exam down there. And she'll check, see if I've dilated anything. She'll sweep my membranes if um, my pubic bone is not, if there's enough room for him to come out, and my pubic bone is okay, um, then we're gonna sweep the membranes. If my pubic bone is not okay, and it's like a more of a shallow, I'm assuming, I have no idea what I'm even talking about. <laughs> but if there's not enough room for his head, then I'm not going to sweep my membranes and we're just going to hope for the C-section because I don't want to get to 10, have an emergency C-section because his head doesn't fit through. Um, it happened to my sister and I'm not saying it's going to happen to me, but I'd rather take every precaution to not have any emergencies happen because I'm already higher of a risk of things happening with the VBAC anyways. So she's going to check. Um, that then sweep my membranes and it's also a pre-op which I didn't bring with me dang it um, pre-op for my c-section so they did give me a bottle of soap I'm assuming it's soap 
Um, I did not do it with Mila, and it's to wash my whole body um, the night before the C-section. So that would be Sunday, I, next Sunday, um, that I would do that. But I didn't bring it up here, so sorry. <laughs> but it's a little bottle of soap, and I was telling them I never did this before, and she said, yeah, it's something new we're starting. So that's interesting. It's like an antibacterial soap for your whole entire body. Um, before the surgery. So that next, my next appointment, which is next week, will have so much going on. Um, and we'll kind of have more answers. It's so hard to not know what's going to happen. <laughs> With Mila, it was a plan C section and it was like, okay, this day done. This is what's happening. And now it's like, whatever is going to happen before, you know, obviously we have the C section date, but. Before that, it's like, whatever, what, whenever, what, I don't even know. It's kind of crazy. Um, my sister is coming into town on next Wednesday. So we're going to film a few videos with her so you'll see her again. We're going to do the baby mama dance. And we're going to um, do like inducing labor type of video. Um, just different things. Walking the... Um, curb or the stairs or spicy food or different things like that um so that should be fun and hopefully something works if not c-section i'm definitely okay with um i'm more prepared for a c-section than anything because i've done it before and it's not scary to me so moving on um i will show you the pictures we got so during my nst scans um it's twice a week and Actually, last week he failed, failed his NST scan, which was sad. Um, it was only sad because it was my fault. <laughs> and he's been falling asleep before during his scans, right at the end. So they have to do this zapper startle thing that wakes him up. And it's, I don't like it. So I, this last time, not today, but Friday, um, I had had candy because I figured he'll be awake more so he won't have to do the startle thing with jigger and he was too crazy <laughs> so they have to have so many their heart rate has to go up so many times and it has to level out so many times and go up and down so many times and he wouldn't go down <laughs> he was it was wild it was very wild and so they ended up she did the 20 minutes he failed it so she did two more minutes he got to a minute and a half of um, a steady heart rate and then he started getting crazy again so she ended up doing a biophysical um, ultrasound and in that is where they measure his fine motor his gross motor so anything with his fingers and then large movements they have to do three of them and then his breathing. So they, he passed the first two, then it went to his breathing and he was being a little stubborn with his breathing. And it's what, from what um, this technician told me is it's nothing they can control. It's just what their body's doing. So he did it once, one big breath, and then he didn't. And then we waited and she did a bunch of other things and then he, did it he started breathing again and then it was very consistent because it has to be six seconds in between for 30 seconds i believe is what she was trying to explain to me and then he passed <laughs> oh, which was good because i was getting a little nervous but i knew if i had to go to the hospital it wasn't anything crazy because he was just overactive not not active which would be even more scarier so i knew everything would be okay I just was a little nervous but this technician is amazing she gives me pictures every time I go and I love it because the one today didn't and I was like oh I usually get so many pictures of him and but whatever so let me show you um, this is the day that he failed the test and what's funny is one of these pictures he's flipping off the camera <laughs> Just like his father I'm sure he's gonna be just like him um, and one of them he's doing like a C hopefully I'll just hopefully I can zoom in so you can see 
all of them. This is the flipping off the camera right here. Hope they can zoom in so you can see that. And then his balls. <laughs> I have so many big dirts of his boy parts. Um, here's a little face. Let me see which one you can see best. So this is the nose all smashed in his big lips and one of his eyes. Got lots of pictures of his face and then of course his balls. <laughs> um, this one is his little booty. I'm sure he's going to love this when he grows up. But if you can see just right at the top, two little butt cheeks and that's what it is all the way down. And then of course his balls. Because who doesn't need 600 pictures of their unborn son's parts? <laughs> All right, I'm not going to forget to show you my belly today. So let's do the belly. Hopefully the lighting's still okay. I know it's getting late here. Here's with the shirt on. These are my favorite shirts. This one's from Old Navy. And the shirt up. So I am measuring a week and a half, woo, a week and a half behind. So if it looks small, that's because it is. <laughs> a week and a half behind. But she said that's nothing to be concerned about unless it's like three weeks behind. Um, I just have a long torso, so I think he has lots more room to wiggle around. Um, but yeah, that is it. Hopefully I see you for my 39 weeks and give you the whole update on everything that's going to happen at this next appointment. And the NSTs are still going good. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.